Hello and welcome to Lecture Viewer. My name is Sandra and I'm here to give you a quick overview of some of the features available in this alpha build of Lecture Viewer and where we plan to go in the future. First off, I'm not really in this room with you now. This presentation was recorded live with our projected present system that tracks your body's natural movements and records your voice so you can replay or broadcast your presentations and classes at any time in the future to users within the system so they will never miss a class or a meeting again. Projected presence is not accessible to you yet but will be available when hand tracking systems are released to the public in the coming months from Oculus and HTC. This current alpha version of Lecture VR will work on a standard desktop display, Oculus Rift DK2 and HTC Vive. It won't matter what display system you are using, as everybody will be in the same social learning environment, interacting in a natural way. Lecture VR is primarily an educational tool, designed to allow educators to teach and record classes inside virtual reality environments. To enhance the learning experience, educators can utilise our virtual learning effects system, which will give them access to thousands of animals, objects and tools, which can then be loaded in on the fly, just like a standard slide in a PowerPoint presentation. For example, we have our interactive whiteboard available in our meeting room and lecture hall environments. And if you have viewed our five animals that aren't dinosaurs demo, this will give you a better understanding of what is achievable with our tool set. Doing is better than saying, so I will now load in some effects. First off, I will load some wildlife into this environment. Next, why don't you say hello to Charlie Duke, the youngest man ever to walk on the moon. We can also load in effects that are hard to visualise in real life. Here is a DNA helix model. Have a good look around it. You can even look behind it if you wish. Finally, you can also view historical objects or events. For example, here is the death mask of Tutankhamun, which was discovered by Howard Carter and George Herbert in Egypt way back in 1922. This of course is not the real mask, which is on display in the Cairo Museum in Egypt. As this is virtual reality, you can hold classes in locations not normally accessible to students and allow them to carry out experiments and tasks that would otherwise be dangerous or impossible to achieve in the real world. To hold a class or presentation, we have made our UI as intuitive as possible. First, you click start a class. Next, you choose a location. If you have a PowerPoint presentation, you can add it here to display inside the virtual environment. Next, you can choose the virtual learning effects you wish to use from our library and then set out class recordings and privacy options. Again, this version of Lecture VR is in alpha testing, so some features may be unavailable just at the moment, but we will be updating rapidly over the coming weeks and months. Our goal here at Lecture VR is to transform education globally by providing educators the tools that they need to create their own immersive lessons. We hope you enjoy this alpha build and be sure to log in regularly as we release features and publish more content. Our motto is learn through experience. We do hope you enjoyed this one. Crazy. Go back a couple hundred million years and you'll find animals that by today's standards break all the rules. Animals that looked like fish but couldn't breathe in water, reptiles that gave birth to live young instead of laying eggs, creatures the size of giraffes.
that could fly. When we started discovering fossils of animals like these hundreds of years ago, we lumped them together in our textbooks. By the mid-1800s, we had a word for them. Dinosaurs, Greek for terrible lizards. For a long time, anything that was weird and extinct and vaguely reptilian was called a dinosaur, even though scientists were finding they actually weren't that closely related to each other. We don't classify organisms by how they